machines. What a fabulous place this is. Very unique these guys. The pig welcoming your straw now. As you can see it has an excellent dining facility. I eat here personally myself. It's a small, cosy little place here. And that's the deck. It's a good mixed array of cuisines here. Okay, guys, so today I'm here in Sonor. I'm actually on the Nugan Ray Bypass. I want to give you and show you a few alternatives to the main restaurants that you're going to have available to you where you're going to be staying in the key areas of Sonor. For these restaurants you're just going to have to come across the highway and everything that I show you in today's video is going to be located along this stretch of the Nugan Ray Bypass just over the other side from the main tourist district area of Sonor. All these restaurants I'm about to show you in today's video guys at this current moment in time it's 10 a.m. in the morning so the restaurants are going to be empty however everything that I am going to show you today believe me trust me these places of a night time are going to be very very full I can't I can't go and walk around a restaurant during the night when a restaurant is full of customers with a camera um, I just don't think it's the, the right thing to do to be walking around in a full packed restaurant with a, a camera so I'm, I've got permission now from all the restaurants I'm about to show you in this video to just take you around and just show you the facility what's available to you so let's start a tour now of the alternative restaurants here in Sonor okay guys so now I'm at a place called the hub I'm um, here on the Nugan Ray Bypass here in Sonor. Pub Bali. So this is your car parking area. And this is the bypass. So here you have a beautiful seating area outside. in this section afterwards and that's what we greeted with from the beginning we have a nice selection of seating So 
the hub serves Western food, Indonesian food, Chinese food and Italian food. So there's four great options available to you guys. That's just a sample of some of the menu. The menu is a very, very big menu. It's a big menu, trust me, guys. So I'll just take you now and show you around the other section of here at the hub. Walk through here now. They have another little section as well. some products guys is actually a coffee shop so you have the main restaurant on that side and then this side acts as a coffee shop but it's all under one roof it's all the hub nice comfortable seating This is guys. Some very, very interesting things. Okay guys, so the next place I want to show you is a place called Naughty Nuries. Naughty Nuries is famous for its pork ribs. So let me take you around and show you this place. Again, it's only 10 a.m. in the morning, so the restaurant is gonna be empty because we can't film and this of an evening will be absolutely full with customers. It has another branch also in um, Bali. So this is a popular restaurant here in Bali. So let me take you around Naughty Nuri's and show you this wonderful place. So here's your car parking area. This is the bypass. And then there's the pig welcoming you to Naughty Nuri's. Just take a trip inside the restaurant now. As you can see, it has an excellent dining facility. So this is, uh, hello. Morning. How naughty are you?
This section here guys is fan only and then if you want air conditioning they have an air conditioning room here. as well to show you the menu while we're here at Naughty Norris. waiting to get in the restaurant because sometimes it's very very busy okay guys the next place we're at now in alternative restaurants here on the bypass is a place called Izzy take into account again guys it's 10 a.m. in the morning so it's not going to be too busy here this will be obviously in lights during the night time and this is a restaurant in area. So let's go in and have a look at this place. So it's a beautiful garden setting with activities for the kids. Wow, you have some nice decorations here in the garden. heap of seats in here so we've got some bean bags that we probably must pull out into the garden when it's not raining so all of those bean bags guys I'm pretty sure will be pulled outside it has been heavily raining here the last um, couple of days in Bali so I guess that's why they're undercover and then here you have the little hello, hello. good morning Chocolate ganas. So it is a restaurant, guys. It's primarily Japanese food. However, it does sell a few um, simple Indonesian dishes also.
kitchen here. Hello, good morning. Facilities here. garden facility for seating as well which has these unusual pallet style seating look at those wow have some tables with umbrellas Okay guys, the next we're, what place we're at is a place called Bibimbap, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, but I'll put the, the name of the restaurant also in the uh, title and the description. So this is a Korean restaurant only, it doesn't serve Western food, only Korean food. So we'll take you and show you around. This is also located on the Nugan Ray Bypass. So this is the place guys. This is a restaurant. Have a little seating area outside. Okay guys, another little restaurant that I want to add to the collection of alternative restaurants for here in Sonor is a place called Pitta Loka on Jalam Batasari. This is a little bit further away from the highway where I've shown you the previous restaurants, however I want to include it in this list because it's a very very popular restaurant. It serves mainly Indonesian food, however it does serve a few western dishes as well. But it's a very nice place and I want to show you this place because it's very nice and very popular. So this is the place guys. You can see you have a nice courtyard seating area here, glass tables, 
these would normally have cushions on but they removed because of the wet, the wet weather and then this is the interior the restaurant here's your, here's your bar area and some of the tables you this place because it's so unique and I know there's not many customers in there at the moment again if we come back later this evening this place will be absolutely buzzing it, it will be full it's a very very popular place among expats and locals here in Indonesia um, you can see it's a very authentic place it's like a house converted into a restaurant but very very beautiful setting so that's why I've included it in this list Okay guys and then another place on my list that I want to show you is a little Warung here I can't pronounce the street name however I shall write it in the description on this uh, what's it it's just across the road again from the highway from Sonor um, and it's a place called MD Warung this now isn't really known by too many tourists but this is very popular in the expat community of people that live here in Bali and particularly in Sonor um, I, I eat here personally myself I can only say good things about this place particularly for the Indian food it's very very good for the uh, beef lamb chicken every all everything Indian and Chinese as well it's a very very good place to come it's only a small place it's only a little we're wrong but it sells great food and I want to include it in this list for you guys so here we have it guys it's called MD we're wrong and then it's just a small cozy little place here wooden tables cooking chairs Is what we have here. Sorry, guys. And that's the decoration on the back of the wall. So I'll just give you a quick look at the menu so you have an idea of what food's available here. It's a good mixed array of cuisines here. They're particularly good for me are the Indian dishes. 